Hey everyone, it's Vale of a Huntress and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's reading, we're going to be doing a remote viewing reading. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pretty much be picking up on <laughs> anything that comes through that I can see about you, <laughs> what you're up to, what's... Um, Pretty much yeah visually what I can see and so it's kind of going to be interesting so um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of intrigued to see what comes through so I think it's going to be um, yeah rather interesting so how we're going to do it today is um, I'm going to have got uh, six cards here for you to choose from and then yeah so then I'm with each card I'm going to be channel oh, remote viewing and seeing what comes through for each card so if you are new here welcome my name is Nita and I'm a psychic here on YouTube and I do pick a card readings and other spiritual based video topics um yeah I also do extended readings and um, over on my Patreon, I have a whole heap of stuff over there, um, which I don't offer here on YouTube. So um, I do like a lot of exclusive pick a card readings, uh, full moon readings, new moon readings, a lot of manifestation. Um, so I have different tiers. And then I've got a, um, a tier that's around sacred, sacred sexuality. Um, we talk about like the occult, the witches circle. Um, clearing a lot of like um, yeah we go pretty deep over there but I have like a it's like I have a whole heap of stuff so um, if you click on the link in the description it'll take you to the different tiers um, and it will tell you what you get with each reading and I, I also um, when you join the membership as well you get discounts on purchases for my readings and my and my um, online courses over there too so yeah check that out if it interests you and you do resonate with my readings I also do offer personal readings too so if you're interested in booking a reading with me um, all you need to do is um, yeah again go down to the description box and all that info is there along with the online courses that you get immediate access to as well yeah and if you join my membership on patreon you get immediate access to like I don't think, I think it's like 80 or something like there's quite a lot of readings over there so um, yeah and you can cancel at any time so you can just go check it out see if you like it well hopefully you don't cancel and you decide to stay with us yeah um, so I try to post as much as I can over on YouTube but as you know <laughs> energy workers um, can be quite tired <laughs> like you can get quite tired um, doing this type of work so um, when I take a break from here I'm always over on Patreon, so yeah. Um, yeah, also if you're um, interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and my Sorceress program, um, you can find a link down below too, which you get a whole heap of um, exclusive ritual videos and you get to work one-on-one -on -one with me um, at this time. Like it depends when you're watching this video. I currently have a special going on. Um, which I'll leave so you can check that all out and that's only for like a limited time until spots are taken um, yeah but again it depends when you're watching this video so let's um, yeah thank you if you did sit through that intro but um, yeah um, it's like I hope, hope I covered everything um, yeah if you want to check out my rev reviews as well um, over on I'm on Instagram and TikTok. My bow, my veil, my handle is at Veil of a Huntress, and um, I have all my testimonials set uh, on the highlights um, icon in my Instagram. So you can have a look at that if you're um, wanting any testimonials, <laughs> reviews about me. <laughs> but anyways, like let's get back to the reading. Okay, so. Um, let's start off with um, the first one, which is the Magician, and let's see what I can pick up about you. So hopefully I remember the order I can do. Okay. Great. So... 
magician. <laughs> okay, um, I'm I'm getting that some of you. I'm getting that some of you might actually. There's something about a. I feel like you actually do have um, some of you. And again, like because this is a general reading, I'm reading for a lot of you. Um, just take the messages that resonate and the ones that don't because I feel there's going to be like a lots of different messages coming through. So, yeah. Um, I feel like some of you actually have a maybe like a hobby that you collect things like some like souvenirs. Um, and some of you actually have um, you actually have knives or like swords or something like that that you collect or you have something that you keep as a it's something that's quite sacred to you or you're collecting it or it's something to do with your heritage that you have if it's not swords it's something that's quite like metal um so it could be like coins or um some type of collection like an antique collection or something that you like to go to thrift stores there's something quite yeah, I'm getting like antique or something you're collecting and I definitely get some yeah or um like chalices you know like the cups that you use as well yeah there actually is a chalice there um some of you have have this and it's like brass or gold and then I get that some of you actually have like a, a sword or a knife or something like this and it's something you use, yeah, like it's a collection or it's something you use that is in, um, it's that you use in your ritual or you keep like on your altar or you keep somewhere where you collect a lot of things. Yeah, like this group has a, there's something you collect is what I'm getting. Um, I'm also like seeing like a person that often likes to research or study. Like I kind of see your head being like down a lot, like you're watching something or reading something. You're often browsing and researching like like Google. Like I think you actually really like Google and you're really into um, some of you like encyclopedias or something about researching or getting to know you're very much into knowledge because I can see this person that's um, just studying for themselves or you or you actually are studying and this person likes to know about a certain, like there's a certain subject and it would be different for all of you, but I'm getting there's like a certain subject that many of you like to look at. Some is like flowers, herbs, but there's lots of different things. Some like nutrition, there's a lot of health um or looking at things about the body <laughs> i just heard bones <laughs> okay <laughs> all right um it might mean something to someone <laughs> um oh uh, yeah like is it called um it maybe sound like i'm like like i'm dumb um is it called, like an oh my god it's gonna annoy me an ar archaeologist yeah <laughs> <laughs> like let me let me just um, Google that. Oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, archaeologists. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. That just came into my into my head. Okay. Um, but also like the one that studies, yeah, like. Um, Think about like history or rem yeah remains and bones. So this could yeah there's something like this that you're interested in. Um, yeah, artifacts too. There's a lot of things here, like prehistoric times, this type of thing. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, that could be yeah, like you're very. There's something that I just I just feel like there's something that you always go to look at or you always go to research is what I get with this group. I also feel that um, you have like a piece 
of clothing that is quite, it's like your favorite. It's, there's something that you wear that, um, that makes you feel, you have, uh, it's like, sorry, I'm so like struggling with words. Okay, today. There's a piece of clothing that you have that you like to put on and it makes you feel really um, alive, vibrant, bold. There's, yeah, there's something in your wardrobe. It's like a statement piece is what I get. And you might have like a few of them for some, but I definitely get there's like even one or two like main um, like pieces of clothing that you wear when you are just like, yeah, I need like a fucking like, um, I need a look the part or I, there's some, yeah, it's almost like there's some, this clothing that you put on makes you feel like you are this type of like, you embody this type of energy or it just makes you feel really bold and charged. It's like when you put this on, it makes you feel, um, yeah, like, uh, like putting on a different persona. It gives you energy, vitality. It makes you feel really powerful is what I get. Yeah, this you are actually really powerful though when I say when I pick um pick up on like the energy. Okay. I just think too, like you're quite into your there's something that you do like a hobby or a craft is what I get. So whether this is cooking or your actual rituals like candle or candle there's some candle making or um writing, um putting things together, jewelry, there's something that this um, that you do that's quite significant to you and again I'm getting like a lot of materials around you um, again like this yeah or like shells or pendants or you might like to wear them you might have a lot in your home like um, I feel like you definitely have crystals but it's like a lot of jewelry coming through and it's like a lot of like knickknacks that you have in your house and I feel that when you dress up, you have lots of different things and jewelry pieces. You are very, um, what's the word? Um, what are those? What's the word? Um, oh my gosh. When those pe when people are, oh my God, I can't think of the word. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I was like, I know what it is, but I just can't like, yeah, you have like a certain style when you dress up. Like it's it's like kind of very, I can't think of the word, but it's like you put different pieces, like jewelry pieces, clothing pieces together, and it gives you that type of look. Like it's um, eclectic. I was like, I knew, I knew what the word was. Okay, I feel like your look's very eclectic. Like you don't have a particular style. You mix and match and I feel that's something even in your home, like your style, it's not, because I feel in your home, it's, you have lots of different things that come together in different styles. You don't have just one style. And I feel this also comes across in the way you dress. Like you might have like an old piece of jewelry and then you would wear like a new dress and then you would do your makeup a certain way or you would, yeah, like you mix and match different trends, styles, clothing, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, and that is what I have for you, um, <laughs> magician group, uh, group one. I hope you found this interesting. Um, I thought I would just try something different, but let me know below because I'm really intrigued to, um, know if you had any of these things. So yeah, um, drop me a comment because I always love reading your comments. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to hit the notification bell too. So when I upload, um, you get notified as well. Yeah, and thank you so much for letting me read for you and I'll see you in the next reading. See ya. Okay, next we have the High Priestess. I hope I'm going in the right order because I can't remember. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's like <laughs> this card and then like a lot of space in between. I probably should have zoomed in, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so. Should 
actually, I'm just going to just going to clear this energy. Okay, I'm kind of getting like in your home or your office, you actually, there's something where you, you have a lot of technology. So you don't have like just one. You could have, um, I feel like you ha always have like gadgets or something. Like you would have a camera, you would have an iPad, you would have your phone, you're kind of into like a TV, um, like a speaker. Like I kind of feel your there's something about you and technology coming through that um, you like to have. I don't know. I'm hearing like you kind of like to have the latest things. Like I'm just getting a lot of, I can just see like a lot of technology around you is what I get more than the average person say. Um, I feel like, and again, like I was going to say, this is like general, so take the messages that resonate because I'm going to get a lot of messages. I'm kind of getting like some of you have, um, there's something about something you hang on your wall or hang on a lamp or, or like draping um, or maybe on your couch or something. There's something in your home and I keep getting that like office space, so that's kind of interesting. Some of you might have a, maybe just a space that is your office that you spend a lot of time in or you, this is um, describing like you might have a separate office space that is um, different to where you live and this could be what is coming through. There's something I'm getting like um, maybe like a dream catcher or um, like a shawl or something where you drape something over or... Um, or just like those curtains that are very, that are like drapes. Um, but something quite significant um, in your home. Or even like those, um, you know the, I don't know what they're called. But you know the, divide, the those wall dividers that are, I'm really like bad with words today. <laughs> because all I can see is like visual. So I'm not like, um, now then I have to like work it out. To like what is what is the name of that? But you know, like how you get those wall dividers. Um, yeah, like maybe this is in your office. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, yeah, room dividers. I had to like Google what it was called. <laughs> they, I think they have them at like Ikea and stuff or something like this that, um, that you could have in your office, like for some of you I'm getting. Okay, so just take that if it resonates. Um, yeah. I keep getting like quite a lot of work, something around work. I feel like work is a lot of um, what you do. I feel that you're mainly working <laughs> is what I'm getting and like seeing. I'm kind of seeing a person that, um, yeah, like quite a serious person that kind of likes to work a lot. That's what I'm getting. Um, Okay, it's almost like I feel when you're working or something, you have a you have certain clothing and also a certain persona when you're working, and that's kind of like your work mode. But it's like it's kind of like how she's wearing like you this cloak, and this is kind of you. Either you have a space in your home, or like I said, a separate office, and this is like when you're working, so you like to. Um, Put that persona on or put on the clothes that represent this um whatever type of work it is so it's something that when you wear you feel like okay i'm working but then when you would take off this cloak i feel that you're actually a whole different person <laughs> um i feel like you in your wardrobe you have a lot of you have like a lot of minimal clothes like minimalist clothing like quite um I don't see, like, I kind of see a lot of, like, plain colours, maybe, like, white or um, beige or black, like, more muted or, like, plain. 
um, maybe like a few bold colors, but I feel it's kind of min like minimal. I'm just hearing like minimal. Um, they something out like maybe like your wardrobe or your space or how you like to have clothes. You like to see what is available to wear <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting like that, yeah, you almost hide who you are. When you're working, you are a different person. This isn't like the actual real you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like you put on this, on these, on this clothing, even like the clothes you wear, maybe it's to represent something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like it's certain clothes you wear to when you're working is what I'm getting. Um, but then it's kind of like you have this whole other life that you hide is what I'm getting. <laughs> um, it's like, <laughs> this is remote viewing. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do I even go there? <laughs> um yeah, I feel like you actually have this like a like a secret life that no one actually knows about is what I get. You actually have quite a lot of secrets. Well you have like a secret. Um and it's kinda like when you go to work or you or how you present yourself, this think about being professional or how you present yourself and whatever you're doing is very much put into this character of what this person represents. But it's like outside of this, um, you're not even this person. You're very, very different. You have like this whole other side to you. It's kind of like, how with like this dark and light. Like we all have dark and light. But you're very much this mysterious. Um, you have darker aspects to you. When I say darker aspects, that just means... Um, that's just kind of like the whole dark, dark feminine, this whole, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you are, gender neutral, but it's like this whole side of you that is unseen, mysterious, wants to explore, is probably very sexual as well, very into um, their sexuality and maybe not yet. I don't know if you're showing this yet, but there's something around something here or in those categories that you're not you don't show people and it's actually like private to you or there's some type of secret that involves these things um or you do some type or there's something with your craft or something you're putting together that you don't tell people about and it's very like hidden there's a lot of like hidden aspects to you and a lot of like hidden um factors in your life that you don't show people is what I get I also feel like <laughs> it's funny it's funny these images I'm getting okay I'm kind of getting like for, for some people that I don't know maybe you could be seeing like you would be seeing people um doesn't matter who these people are I'm kind of just getting like Maybe you would be seeing different people or seeing a certain person or I can just see someone like coming to you but other people don't know about this or, you know, it doesn't have to be just like sexual but there's something here where your, your private life is kind of quite private or there's something here where you're like, I don't know, I can just see you or maybe this is to do with your work um, or it's like clients or something where or maybe you have this profession that's quite hidden um, as well. I don't know, like it could be flipped. Um, and there's something here where there's like, you don't show people this side of your life. It's kind of quite hidden. And I can see like, I don't know, it's like meeting people or meeting a person or, or just when you meet these people, not many people would know about this is what I get. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Here's random. Okay, I'm just getting like, um, maybe for some of you too, you have something about like hair products. It just came, like you have like a lot of hair products or something. <laughs> or something with your hair or uh, um, accessories that you like to, 
um, use or you have all your products, there's something about products being lined up or you have, you're very specific about what you use, either it's skincare or hair, hair's coming through quite strongly, but you have like certain things that you would use and, and like tools as well. I kind of feel like also I can see like candles and flowers too as um, something you like in your in your home. But I'm also hearing to you in your home or what you would like is you like to see big, um, you like to have like a big space or you like to look out to like a big, um, a big mirror I'm seeing or a big um, window is like you like lots of light coming in. But there's something you do that maybe, um, I don't know if you're filming or doing something and there's not that much light. <laughs> and then it's kind of like, I don't know, there's just two different sides. So sometimes you don't have a lot of light when you're working or when you're doing something or there's some type of like, yeah, but it's like that whole dark and light. That's what's getting you. There's something you do and it's like, you maybe you like to like the mood lighting and you like candles and this type of thing. But you also like like you need um daylight like sunlight or else you just like you just can't thrive so you like both it's like you like the dark and you like the light and there's a, lot, there's a whole lot of stuff going on with this group so i think i will um if like if if you know then you know yeah okay so um i hope if you liked this, um, please give this video a thumbs up because it does really help my content. Don't forget to subscribe as well and leave me a comment because um, I'd really love to hear how this resonated with you because I found it really interesting. And yeah, thank you for um, letting me read for you and I'll see you in the next reading. See ya. Hey, what's up pile three or the king of swords pile? So we're going to be... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be remote viewing and seeing what comes through um, and remember this is a general reading so I'm just going to say everything that comes through so some messages um, might not be for you but some do so yeah so just um, yeah just um, just just follow through and see what comes through the other the other groups are really interesting okay and I'm kind of I'm getting that um, so now you have like a specific mug or like a cup that you will always drink from that yeah I'm just that just came it came to me first there's like a cup that you really like I feel like it's like more of a white color I don't know but that's kind of what I'm saying it could have other things on it because this is general reading but there is a yeah, I feel like this is your cup. Like, you just have this cup that's quite, like, this is what you do in the morning. You have a specific cup that you always drink out of, okay? Um, and I feel like in, like, wherever you go to have this drink or there's, like, somewhere in your house that you always sit or you have a favorite place that you like to go and you think, like, this is... <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is already like. So you have like a, there's like a certain place that you like to sit in your house and it could be <clears throat> on a chair um, or it could be like outside, like on a balcony or something, but this is the place that you go to when you're, you're always like thinking is what I get. Some of you too have like in your clothing, I feel like your clothes are quite tailored in the sense that you have clothes that fit you really well and you choose them specifically for your figure is what I'm getting. You're very much into and like your clothes um, are like, yeah, your clothes that you have are very aligned to your body and you make sure that it fits you properly like this is something you've always looked at in clothes just check the like how your figure looks and um like if it's the right length and yeah you're kind of quite meticulous with this is what i'm getting it's so random these things i'm getting i have i was thinking something about like 
socks or something. <laughs> like, there's something about socks that um, you're very, like, if you don't have matching socks, it, like, irritates you. Like, you have to have matching socks. <laughs> okay. I just, I just find this so funny because it's not these things I don't know what come through. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're just quite, um, maybe you're quite a bit of a perfectionist. I mean, quite a lot of things around your clothing. Maybe clothes is like, you like to look real polish. I and mean, you think about your shoes too. Like your shoes have to be, like look good. You're very much like into the whole outfit and into the whole, like whole appearances is what I get. Like you would have to make, sh yeah. It's very tailored clothing. And maybe you like, um, it's kind of like unisex. So you might like, I hope that's like the right, <laughs> the right term, like term, but um, like you might like to dress, um, what's the word? Androgynous. Like you, you kind of like to um, maybe wear kind of more like, yeah, you know what androgynous means, so I have to explain it, but if not, like, Google. Um, yeah, you, yeah, I don't get that. Like, you like to mix and match and just, like, kind of feminine, but I get more, like, okay, kind of more masculine. <laughs> yeah, or you kind of like to mix and match this. So it's very kind of, like, neutral or, like, kind of maybe high fashion or just that kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Um... I mean, something that you like being seeing you like writing or like always taking notes on things, um, or write like you like to take notes. This is either writing notes or something on your phone. Like you always have to have, like I can see you always writing, like putting notes on your phone. Yeah, like you're like, getting like a serious note taker, or else you forget things. So you might even have like t timetables. Well, on your phone, you like to use different apps to help you organize things like um, like your calendar. You can have like um, Google Calendar or some type of other schedule. You're very much, um, you feel more in control if you have all these things is what I'm getting. And you have, you yeah, this thing that you're, and your phone needs to be organized as well is what I'm getting. I feel like things like, even in your, yeah, I'm getting like, if, even if you're on your phone, you need to have all the, um, like, icons and everything. Um, like, they have to be in the right, um, like, you have them in categories and you don't like them mismatched. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, you like, yeah, you organize them in the categories and you have all, the, yeah, you have all these things on your phone, but you keep your phone very tidy. Uh, I feel like you have a lot, actually, like those things, yeah, but I feel like you have a lot of volume, like, I feel like maybe you had to, like, upgrade or something, because you have so many, I think you have so many things as well on your phone, <laughs> um, I feel like you have a lot of messages on your phone, is what I'm getting, maybe a lot of, like, work stuff, um, or things that you like to keep because you feel they will be of like use to you so you keep you store a lot of things on your phone maybe you have like a lot of data too on your phone is what i'm getting <laughs> um okay this is for some people i feel like there's something in your house where there's like a point or something or um it's like a roof that goes up or a ceiling that goes up that has kind of like a point, like a, like it kind of goes in like this or something in your, or it might be like up a staircase or in a closet or in, yeah, or maybe there is something outside that you have that kind of has this kind of point or no, there's something I can see that's like, um, like going up up into the ceiling, so I'm not very good at describing, um, yeah, <laughs> a 
And maybe there's something too around like um, wood pieces or you have a certain wood piece or you have a wooden frame or um, those coasters that are wooden or there's something about like wood furniture or wood um, like on a, bal on a balcony or something like wood. Well, for some, like, you might have wood around your your property, like, as in lots of trees. <laughs> um, that's, for, like, some people. Yeah, I feel like some of you have, like, a lot of trees, but I'm not really seeing green. I'm just seeing, like, I'm just seeing wood. So the wood has some significance. Yeah, and maybe in your home is what I'm getting. Okay, let me see. And I feel there's something that is in your house that, or in your property or something like this, that is going to be quite cryptic, but maybe it's quite, um, quite dark as in maybe I'm just getting like, it could be, it's dark in color and it could be like an artifact or it could be a piece of jewelry or it could be something that people look at, look at it and think it's it's not actually, but they think it's quite dark, like it's kind of out of the order, ordinary, and they people are a bit like, oh, what's that? Or, um, or like a big black crystal, or something that's out of the ordinary that you have in your home, or in the outside, or something, and it's like black and dark. I hope this is making sense, but you're kind of like, um, yeah, like if people saw it, they would be like, oh, that's. Yeah, it's something kind of dark or occultic or uh, what kind of words like, or like a dark, like feather or like a, I don't know, like a dead bird or something. I don't know. There's something here that I can see that's, um, yeah, some of you might be a dead bird, you know, like when they stuff those like animals or something. But I don't know. There's something here that's quite dark that peep that you have is in your home that you would consider dark. Okay, and that is what I have for you. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Um, leave me a comment if this resonated with you because yeah, I'd love to, um, I'd love to hear because I just find it quite interesting. And yeah, thank you for letting me read for you and I'll see you in the next video. So yeah. Hey, Queen of Wands group. Um, so hopefully I've done this in the right order. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. What? I'm getting something like in your home that you have that it's like a it's it's like a source of light that you have like a specific um, I think it's really beautiful and it's like a specific like a lamp or something that people comment on when they come to your house or yeah, you have some type of, I know it's really cryptic, but I'm just, it's like really hard to explain. I'm, it's like a, something that people come to and it ha, it's a source of light for like a lamp or a projector or some of you, it's a ring light. You have something in your home that very much projects, um, kind of like how I have this, like this color, like this, this glow, like this, um, this ember kind of glow, this radiant glow. I feel there's something in, in your home that represents this. It, yeah, it could be like a fireplace. Um, and for some, like you have a really awesome lamp and you have this type of lighting. Um, yeah, and like again, like some have like a ring, like a ring light. Or it could be like a bathroom light that you have or something around like your mirrors. I'm getting like this glow. Something about you and a glow, like a sun kissed glow, or those lamps that have the, like a lava lamp, or those sun kissed, what do they call it? Um, sunset lamps. Um, you have something like this. So there's something about a glow 
and sunset and also maybe it could be that some of you have a beautiful sun like a sunset or a sunrise or something that comes into your home when you wake up and it has like this glow in your room or something like this but yeah something about a glow and sunlight or sunset yeah I'm getting um and I feel like you have a something in your house or a place that you dedicate to when you're that um it's quite beautiful I feel like you you have really beautiful things you like you like to have things in your home that look very aesthetically beautiful and I'm getting something like when you get dressed or do your makeup or when just when you get dressed um you it's like where you get adorned where you adorn yourself you have it's very beautiful so you could have You've made it look really aesthetically pleasing, really nice, and you might have um, flowers or pretty lights around it or just like your perfumes and things. Um, yeah, it's like where you get ready is something that um, you, made, you made it look really beautiful is what I'm getting. is not for all people, but I'll use so many yet. Just think about like animals. Um, and for and and I'm getting something like for those of you who don't have an animal, there's something in your home that um, is <laughs> say from, from an animal. So it could be like feathers, or it could be. Um, like um also like um shells or like a bone um like a uh what do you call like a fish bone or those um or like a whale oh, what are those or like a shark tooth or something here about like an animal and you have some type of material from that animal is what i'm getting um or you have an animal there's something about animals yeah um or yeah like the feathers so you yeah so have like have a look around your home um yeah that's how i'm getting okay what's this thing like um wooden like drawers or something we put your um clothes but I feel like you always, I don't know, it's because it's general, but I'm kind of like, I just see someone putting, always putting their clothes away. Like you feel like you always have to put your clothes away. <laughs> That's what I get. Like you feel like you always have to fold them and put them away. I can just see that you're quite into, it just, um, I'm just seeing like a person getting dressed up. So I feel you're very much into this this place that you have like I said that you have dedicated to doing your makeup doing your hair and um like I feel like this is your favorite place where you do your makeup and where you it makes you feel good yeah I feel like you really made this place look good or when you also when you get dressed up and you do this type of thing you feel really good about yourself is what I get and some of you might have a um, something in your heart. I'm getting something about like sisters or your sister gave you something or someone who's like a sister or a really close friend gave you something that there's something that they've given you or there's some, I heard it, it's coming through, but something that they've given you or you have a picture of you too. Um, there's something about you and like a person who is a sister or like a sister. So it could be like a really close friend or this sister or person gave you something that maybe you have this and where you get ready or you have a picture of you two is what I'm getting. Yeah, like a photo of you two. I don't know, this person like, whoever this person is looks very similar to you is what I get. <laughs> this is like... It's funny these things that come through. I don't know why I'm getting it. I'm just getting something about lingerie. <laughs> um, I feel like some of you actually, 
like, how does this sound like weird? But anyway, I'm saying everything that comes through. So I think it's actually hilarious. Um, I think some of you, they just like um, ha actually have really nice lingerie. Like you, because there's something about you dressing up and like, you know, you've like kind of dedicated this space or you where you get dressed, you have all your products, your makeup and something around like lights and things, yeah. And there's something like you um, like to... Um, or you have like really nice lingerie if you wear lingerie that's for those people something about like your undergarments and like maybe corsets as well is coming through but again like you're you take care of your things and if you had really nice lingerie it's like you would make sure you um like put them away again like I'm just seeing you like folding and putting things away and also like when you do your washing you're quite like you know have them separate and things like this you take very good care of your clothes like it means a lot to you is what i'm getting yeah but you have you have like nice brass <laughs> that's funny um and also like you you could be really into like shoes too yeah and again like the lingerie is only for those obviously the people that, <laughs> that are wearing it but um you could be really into shoes is what i'm getting and maybe some of you like to display some and some of you that don't wish you could but you don't have the room is what I'm getting. You would like to display your shoes. Some of you have like, I feel like you might have like one or two designer something. Or some maybe, it could be a knockoff but you have something that's like designer that you kind of like to show off or wear is what I'm getting. There's something very much here about around confidence too. Um, I'm just getting a lot, a lot anyway. It's like not remote viewing now, but I'm just feeling a lot of solar plexus energy and a lot of confidence. So yeah, it's like amazing. Um, you're very much um, in your power and like definitely feeling yourself. So yeah, um, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up because it does really help my content. I love if you left um, a comment down below because yeah, I'm super intrigued to know how this resonated with you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, thank you for letting me read for you. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Uh, hey, um, the Empress group. So um, I hope this one was next because <laughs> I hope I put an order. Okay, so we're going to be um, looking at what is coming through for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, Renee, I feel like in your house you you have a lot of things. <laughs> I feel like um, I feel there's like a lot of furniture. Um, like it just seems like a lot all, and then like. Um, you have a lot of clothes, you have a lot of items of jewellery. It's like you just have a lot of things in your house is what I'm getting. And it's because you like to collect a lot of things and you don't like to let a lot of things go is what I'm getting. Um... Okay, this is not this isn't for everyone, but this is for someone. <laughs> this is for someone I'm, I'm very specific. I'm getting that someone actually has like a wedding dress. That's only for some people. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna put that one out there. Or well, there's something in your in your wardrobe that's like um like a white dress, and for some it's like your actual wedding dress and. For some, there's just like this beautiful white dress. Or like, yeah, even so, but yeah, anyway, that's just for some people. I think you have like a lot of, you might have a place in your house or there's like a lot of cushions or I just feel like there's a lot of stuff in your house where you just, yeah, kind of getting that and lots of like, um, again, like it's this, it's kind of similar to this other group, but it's like a different styles, um,
I feel like you like more, yeah, I feel like it's different styles. You mix um, like kind of vintage with new is what I get. I feel that's, yeah. Because you like, I feel like in your home, you like pieces that are different to, you like to have unique things. And you might have also quite a lot of unique, like a unique piece of jewelry or something, or there's something you have in your home, or like a, yeah, it's like a, it's something very unique. I feel in your yeah, jewelry, but also in things you collect because you have a lot of things that I feel that's why you don't want to let them go because they, they, I'm getting like they're one of a, like one of a kind, like you wouldn't really find it anywhere else. So you're kind of like, why would I let this go? Okay, for some I'm hearing, there's like when you go out or there's something either around your house or when you're going out, you like to go, I don't know, I'm seeing like you going to sit by a tree or you walk past a certain tree all the time or there's like a tree that you have in your house. Uh, in your house, um, like outside your house. It's something about you and a tree that you always go to or you're always walking past, like a significant one, or you would always walk past, or yeah, I'm just like repeating myself, but that's kind of what I'm saying. Um, okay. <laughs> it's like funny, these things. Okay. I hear like some, some of you, this is for some people, I'm getting you like, but you, you like to dye your hair at home as well, I'm getting. And when you're dying, you're here, like you love listening to music. Like when you're at home, you always listen to music and you're dancing around. Like I feel like some of you recently dyed your hair or something. Or like when you're doing your makeup, you always have tunes on. And some of you like to, yeah, and you're having a drink. Some you're having like a wine or like an alcohol drink. And some's like, you're just like having like a, a tea or something. You're so like vibey. Like I love this. Like if I kind of get this whole either like seventies eclectic kind of like you have really um, cool items in your home. I feel like a lot of people would be like, "Oh wow, that's really cool." I, ha I haven't seen that. Like I feel like in your home or your clothing or, or and jewelry or just things you have your own. Um, people always comment. And they're like, wow, that's really cool. I haven't seen that. And you would, you, like, when you go shopping, that's what you look for. You look for one-of-a-kind pieces. So clothing or just things you have in your home. And I feel too, like, in your home as well, or when you go out, you always like to buy other people things. That's what I'm getting. Like, when you go out, you'll be like, you think, oh, this so-and-so would really love this. And then you would buy it for them. Like, I feel like you're always giving gifts to people. Or you have in your home like a certain or something in your home where you always um, would take from this to like um, you have you keep things as gifts and then you would give them to people for some people. <gasps> it's funny. You definitely have crystals in your home. Yeah, you just have like real cool style. Um, and I feel like when you're at home too, you like to be comfortable. And, like, and you like to, like, I feel you like to wear really com comfy clothes. So, like, um, maybe, like, tracksuit pants, um, maybe, like, suede. Like, you you like the texture of clothing that feels good on your body. And when you're at home, you just like to lounge and relax and your clothing needs to feel comfortable. I'm getting something about, I don't know if this is for some, someone, <laughs> um, maybe this is somewhere you go or you walk past, or again, it could be outside your home, but I'm getting like this, like really, um, like the grass is, um, either has like snow on it or, and it's kind of, the grass has changed color or it's being, um, you know, it's really hot. So it's, it's like crisped, crisped up, um, and maybe quite overgrown or something. Or there's a place that you like to go that has this type of grass or 
kind of like hay, like you know how when grass gets dried, something like this. So I don't know, that's just come through. I'm definitely getting you, um, you do like to look good for sure. And there's some type of, I'm just getting some type, you have some type of statement piece that you wear and you always know that when you wear it, you always get complimented. And it was like, no one else has this is what I'm getting. Yeah, some type of something you have that you wear. It might be like earrings or... Yeah, there's something you have or like a um, something you wear in your hair is what I'm getting. Yeah, and I feel like, um, again, like there could be a lot of color or you like to wear a lot of color as well. Yeah, and you're very much into things need to ma uh, match your skin tone is what I'm getting. So I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to like this video. If you did, please leave me a comment because, um, yeah, I'm super intrigued to see how this resonated with you. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And thank you for letting me read for you, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Hey, King of Wands group. Okay, so it's... Um, Jump straight in. Okay, I'm getting some <laughs> so random these things. I'm getting something about your kitchen. That in your kitchen, there's something that a certain place or something in your kitchen that has to be organized. Like I feel it's only one part of the kitchen. So it could be where you make your coffee or it could be your pantry. But there's just one specific place that you have that has to be in order because you that's just how you like it. It's the same about your kitchen. Or when you're cooking, like you have the spices have to all be like correct. But maybe everything else was like doesn't matter if it was like kind of messy, but there's something that has to be a certain way is what I'm getting. And I feel like when you're at home, <laughs> maybe you like to wear um, really comfortable shoes or like no shoes. But some like I'm just getting like comfy shoes is what I'm getting. Those certain shoes that you wear when you're at home. And I feel like this group, um, I feel like you really, really like to watch movies. <laughs> I feel like you would, or you watch TV, or you watch movies a lot, is what I'm getting. And also that you like to just um, sit and, like, look out if you have that view. But some I'm getting, it's mainly, like, a movie or TV. But then sometimes you might be looking out to something. So this could be scenery or looking out the window um, or just going outside and sitting down. It's like you like to, or like looking at the sky or something is what I get. You kind of like go deep in thought as well. Like you kind of go in and out of like deep thought. I feel like you really like to watch movies. That's what I'm getting. Um, it's like you really like Netflix. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing someone who has to be in control of like, what they what is watched or you like to just watch whatever you're watching by by yourself um i feel like you like to go on social media a lot too maybe you like to i mean like maybe you like to watch other people on social media yeah it's not like you like watching as <laughs> like you think um, and I feel like when you're at home and I nice thing about you being at home and then just feeling in charge or you just having things your way at home is what I'm getting and maybe you have 
certain like clothes you like to wear only at home as to opposed to like when you go out I feel like when you're going out too you always like to be quiet like you like to look good and you like to dress well is what I'm getting I feel like you might have you might have some well there's something you you like to go into um because this whole thing of like you sitting and watching this could be just like when you go into nature or you go to the beach or um like the park where you sit on a bench like this is also i'm getting like a pastime of yours as well when you go out um or you might grab like an ice cream or something to eat and then you kind of like to sit on a bench and like just look out to nothing and just kind of think is what i'm getting It's something about just you being in charge of something. So this could be in your workplace or just an entrepreneur or you're, or you're something about your lifestyle and you just being in charge is what I'm getting. And it's something about like your hair, your hair or how you do it or um, has to be a certain way as well is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like that's um, quite important to you. Yeah, I was thinking that you maybe work, like being quite professional or how you come across is very, you're quite, like you articulate yourself very well. I could see you're a good communicator. You talk to a lot of people. Um, I feel like you have quite, I feel like this energy is both like, um, like feminine and masculine. Like it kind of has like both, you know, gender neutral, but it's like you're really good at listening and then you're really good at like um, also like verbalizing and talking is what I'm getting. But I feel like whatever you're doing, like there's something in your job or just the person you are where you have to listen a lot is what I get. Yeah, because I almost feel like something about when you're at work, you're at work and you kind of have that whole professional thing, but you're maybe more, you're, but then you still, I don't know, I don't know, but you still kind of this certain way you like to live when you're at home is what I get. Yeah, and I feel like this um, pile also gets like a lot of attention too from whoever's like interested in you. And maybe like you have, maybe there's like a certain, like a statement piece you have in your home or something you hang on the wall or it's something that's quite statement that is in your home. And I feel like everything, like this one thing stands out or in your office or in your workplace or it's something that you own that you feel really represents you and you have this is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's something about like home life security um, being really important to you. I feel like where you work and where you live, like you, either you like to have really nice things or I don't know, I'm just I'm just feeling like security or like the has the house has to be secure or your office space or something like this. Um or maybe for some you have like money and you store it away for like <laughs> maybe you have like a safe what they call it like a safe box or how does what it's called? Um or something where you have valuables because it's something about security or maybe it's like security too with like um, cameras and um, they call like spotlights or um, like your car or your whatever you have everything or in the garage like I feel this thing about security too.
or like yeah like locks and um yeah this type of things coming through okay let me see what else i'm getting okay. and nice thing about like work and maybe you have like certain clothes that you have to always wear to work or you like you have certain clothes you only wear to work is what i'm getting And again, this thing about like shoes. <laughs> um, like I said, I feel like I can't remember if I said about like shoes. But there's, um, I feel like you look like sneakers. Or kind of like, you might have like another pair that is a bit more dressy or like boot like. Um, but it's more like casual casual dressy is what I get and same with shoes is quite prominent and you might have like a really um I feel like it's one bold one bold piece of clothing that you really really like but you don't really wear it that often it could be designer or just like the colors are really bold and not many people have it or something and sometimes you wear it and sometimes you don't but you kind of just like having it because yeah, you just liked it and you got it. And I feel like not many people have this. You might have like lots of accessories in terms of clothing. Um, so like scarves or um, belts. Like what are those things, those cuff, cuff things? I don't know, I can't remember what they're called. Um, cuff links, <laughs> that's what it's called. Or jewellery. Um, or like how this, this person has um, like a tie or like those buckle, what are those called? I'm so bad with like the, oh my God, whatever this is called, this like on the shirt, okay? I don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> just trying to get through these readings. And okay, I think that's what I'm getting with this group. Um, I hope you liked this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It does really help my content. Don't forget to, if you want to, um, yeah, leave a comment below and let me know how this resonated for you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next reading. See ya.